Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse. We've just taken care of a uh, UFO, a bomber, and it was attacking the police station on the other side of the city. Where is it? Uh, probably should. There it is. <laughs> What's left of it? There was two police station towers and they were attacking them, which is kind of interesting. So let's see how bad this... Oh, jeez. Affected our relations. Oh, man. 30,000 to improve to neutral. Fine. And then we have Diablo. Don't care. Evonet. Eh. Nutrivent. Eh. Soul mine. Oh, that's not good. Oh, 46,000. I want that Illyrium. You know what? Fine. I'll pay them. We have enough money anyway. And we can always make more. Sense of Vision is now friendly. That's interesting. All right. So, yeah, uh, but the biggest thing is, the, by far the biggest thing, is we've gotten Micronoids. Still no engineers to get. Micronoids. Live ones. So we're doing the Micronoid autopsy first. Finally, the biochemistry department has something to do again. We're still making the dimensional probe. UFO Type 6 is about to be complete. Uh, so this is very, very exciting times. UFO Type 6. Ah, there's the assault ship. The assault ship effectively replaces the alien transport as a troop carrier. It can deposit large numbers of aliens into city buildings and is armed with a powerful beam weapon. This craft is highly dangerous and must be stopped at all costs. I kind of miss uh, from UFO, I mean from uh, the first two XCOMs where you got specifics about, you know, the armor, the speed and such of these ships. It looks pretty cool. All right. UFO Type 7 already, of course, and yeah, we still don't have the Retaliator. Maybe UFO Type 7 is the one. Ah, uh, there's the multi-bomb, a multiple warhead system. Uh, this thing is giant, by the way, and I believe... Uh, can it fit on the Hawkeye Warrior? I don't think it can. Uh, right. So let's do that. 31% still. Let me make double sure. That aliens are not... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Game is being a bit weird. Vehicle rearmed. Okay, that's fine. An illegal flyer has been detected. Again, it's not enough... Yeah. Not enough uh, ammo. That's probably the Illyrium. Oh. No, it's the janitor missile arrays. Let's see if we can buy more. Probably not. Yeah, no Illyrium. No janitor missiles. There's profit missiles. We have all of them. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It's gonna have to be it for now. Where are these guys going? Oh. Oh, they're fighting the police at the moment. Building under attack. What? Building law control station. Man, everyone has it in for the police now. What, what is going on? Look at this. So where's their defenses? They should be lifting off. Um. Okay. Are they coming from the other side or something? I don't really know. But they're going to destroy the entire building. And I suppose we'll just let them. Huh. They've decided they're done. Or maybe they're going for another police station now. Ah, now they're fighting with them. Illegal vehicle destroyed. There we go. And illegal vehicle destroyed. Alright. An illegal flyer has been detected. <laughs> Again. Vehicle destroyed police car. Wow, that was quick. Oh, that's still okay. I think it's gonna be time to uh, visit Cult of Sirius again. But I kinda want to do more research. Are they are they attacking? What are they attacking? Warehouse one attacked by Diablo. They just don't let up these guys, do they? There's the Valkyrie and Hawker Warriors. Yeah, you guys have, You guys have nothing on these guys. Oh, there's a Transstellar hub. Illegal vehicle destroyed. And illegal vehicle destroyed. Alright. I should probably save because we are fast forwarding quite a bit without actually s spreading our vehicles. And the UFOs can arrive at any time, really. So that's probably what we're going to do, unfortunately. Well, some of the vehicles don't have a lot of missiles left. But, eh, we should be fine. Oh, wow. Something weird is happening when I press control. 
It's probably because I all tabbed out. Okay, these things are moving over the city now. That's not great. Send some of these. That's kind of handy, though. <laughs> Just press uh, control. Okay, uh, I just hope the game doesn't crash. There should be another, yeah, there's one there. Oops. And before I do that, I want to give people <clears throat> the rest of the armor that we, well, the rest of the armor. One more set of pants that we've made. Who doesn't have them? There's quite a lot of people with the uh, disruptor legs already. That's kind of cool. Okay, where are we putting you? Let's put you here. There's a lot of tubes here. Okay. I know I've said Cult of Sirius, but I want more research right now. What? What happened there? It's probably a fluke. Uh-oh. Yeah. It just wasn't showing. The door is stuck there. Alright. Let's save again. Because I don't like what the game is doing. Doesn't look like it likes tabbing out. So, how's my research going? And can I get any more engineers? No, the answer is no. So, how's my research going? Uh, half way done with the micronoid autopsy. Oh, dimension probe is almost halfway done. UFO type 7 as well. Alien artifact, yeah. Eight more legs they need to make. Or pants. Toxin type B. I'll keep making it for now, but then we'll probably uh, switch over to something else. Again on the illegal flyer. What was that about Soul Mine? Megapole raided by Soul Mine. Man, all the organizations in the city just hate each other's guts. It's no wonder we constantly have to uh, play politics with who's friendly and who's not. That's Nutrivent, so we're not gonna get any more uh, food. And Evonet, we're not gonna have our toilets flushed. <laughs> oh man, legal flyer has been destroyed. And this guy is gonna attack what? No, nothing, because he's gonna get destroyed. Ah, there we go. Look at that thing. The alien bomber is equipped with an unusual missile launcher that splits into multiple independently targeted missiles. It also has a light beam weapon to deal with close air combat. There is a limited crew on board. Yeah, that light beam is not really a thing. It's a medium disruptor beam and it hurts. So, yeah. And nothing. What? Oh, I have to do the biotransport first, right? I think that's how it goes, yeah. Oh well, my mistake. Micronoid autopsy is almost done. Very nice. One more set of legs. Or pants. Let's uh, save this. Come on. There we go. Look at this thing. This is not one single creature, but billions of microorganisms. These organisms have been found in the cardiovascular systems of other aliens, but until now we were unaware of their extra extraordinary capability to act independently. It is clear that our research must concentrate on these unusual life forms. So that's what we're gonna do. Micronoid. A swarming amoeba-like alien life form. All right. And of course, I'm guessing still no engineers to... No, there's engineers to get. There we go. And that's it. We have no more space. There's a 62 in there. How did you even get through our filters? There. That's the best we're going to do, I suppose. Uh, we're going to wait for them to arrive. And then we're going to assign them to the engineering department. And when the... Well, everything else is done, we're just going to put a lot of engineers into the advanced workshop. And the advanced workshop will be able to produce a lot of toxins quite quickly as well. And disruptor armor and all of the other stuff. Come on, where are they? I don't want to go to ultra fast because, well, it goes too fast and then you miss it and you get other stuff. In the meantime, it's quite annoying. So, you know. Come on. One more. There it is. And for some reason, it always goes under hostile vehicles. Very strange. Very weird. Okay, there we go. So, 
Now we can save this again and wait for those UFOs because they will be arriving now. Government rated by Diablo. Ah, biotransport module. Look at this thing. This interdimensional transport is designed for transporting alien life forms or alien technology captured during tactical missions in the alien dimension. So, now we can do the explorer. Yeah, that's how we have to go. I could do these uh, bombs and multi-bombs. I never really use these, though. Um, especially because they, they need a lot of other stuff. The uh, cloaking devices should be done quite soon. Dimension probe will be done soon. Micronoid. The funny thing is, I believe... No, the dimension probe doesn't have any things to actually equip. Rated by Synth Mesh, Treaty Signed, Organization... Holy moly! The... <laughs> Okay, let's see. So, uh, government was raided by Diablo. Psych was raided by Synthamesh. Treaty signed by Megapol and Soulmine. Psych was attacked by Life Tree. Psych was attacked by the government. Diablo was stormed by Megapol. Uh, Diablo and the government signed a treaty. And Psych was raided by General Metro. <laughs> <laughs> this, we don't need aliens. We, we, uh, we wage war quite well just on our own. This is ridiculous. Okay, keep going. Look at the damage to the city in just one week. Holy moly. We're still in the positive, though, because we did the tactical missions and the research and shot down a lot of UFOs. Um, but this is all just from our fight. Uh, this is not from, you know, other organizations fighting each other, I believe. So let me just make sure there's no good. Well, 84 is okay. I do, well, I do have a 60 there. Is anyone below 60? I don't think they can actually go below 60, or can they? I think they can go down to 50, I'm not sure. So, one more engineer here. And, of course, we'll have to bring back Tarangator. Oh, he needs to get it repaired as well. We need to bring back Tarangator and equip the Disruptor pants on the people that don't have them yet. So hopefully he gets repaired now before we get the new aliens attacking us. And hopefully we get a Cymorph as well, because that's the last thing we need to get uh, Toxin Type C. And that thing is amazing. Come on. There it is. And once again, it's in the hostile vehicle stab. Vehicles. All right. Uh, that one went from there. So 396, almost 400. Not too bad, I suppose. And they're almost done with the dimension probe. Almost done with the legs as well. So that's good. I'm going to... Okay, Micronoid. There we go. The capture of a Micronoid aggregate is an essential step in the advancement of our knowledge. This formless mass of microorganisms is found inside the bloodstream of other aliens. Uh, alien life forms. Each microscopic organism is an independent and intelligent life form. They communicate with each other using psionic projection, but they are unresponsive to human psionics. It is unclear whether these creatures are parasites or an integral part of the alien spawn. Look at that. Blech. So now, we unfortunately don't have anything else. It, we would have the real alien threat available, but we don't because we don't have the Cymorph yet. And I don't think I've ever gotten Micronoids before the Cymorph. It's quite interesting. So, uh, Terrangator still has not been repaired. I'm going to save this. It would be nice to have Terrangator's firepower there uh, when the UFOs arrive, but I'm just going to do this. Dimension probe was completed, which means we can finally start making other stuff like a biotransport. Should I do other stuff like shields? Uh, no. No. I think I'm just going to do one. Oh, yeah. We need to start making all of this stuff. Uh, let's make 20 heads for now. Yeah. Let's make 20 heads. Two more legs to make. Let's also make sure that there's no aliens. Yep, there's none. Illegal flyer again. This place this city hates each other oh no they're actually attacking diablo is attacking Osiron. okay that should be interesting 
Rescue transport was destroyed. And well, these guys have storm dogs. Uh, not storm dogs. Uh, hover cars. And a Valkyrie. Illegal vehicle was destroyed. And one more. And of course, all the stray shots. Well, won't really impact anything at the moment. Jeez. You see how difficult it is to catch these hover bikes? The missiles have the best chance, of course, but yeah, they're very difficult to do. Wow, that took a long time, actually. Explorer, I, I always liked how this one looked. The first manned interdimensional vehicle produced for the initial exploration of alien structures. The craft only has a small equipment and armament load and must conduct its excursions with great care. Ah, Retaliator, that's what we're talking about. In order to combat the increasing aggression and power of alien craft, we must build an interdimensional weapons platform. So we're doing that. And we should really be making a probe. Oh, no, wait a second, we built it. So, what am I talking about? No project here, of course. As soon as we get into the alien dimension, these guys will have a project again. Uh, this is almost done. Excellent. The legs are also almost done so what we're going to do is save here and we are going to send a probe to where it needs to go there it is it's the tiny little thing look at it and actually can have a weapon uh one of these <laughs> uh, yeah I, I suppose I'll, I'll i'll use it i'll use it and it can fight alongside i mean it's probably gonna get destroyed immediately but how much to sell it actually i wonder oops have I actually ever tried selling it? Uh, dimension probe. No, you cannot actually sell it, apparently. Alright. Well. Probe. You're... <sighs> right, now I have to press control. You are going into one of these. Uh, I think this is how it's done. So off it goes. Look at it. Oh, you're so cute. It's a little probe. Oh, so cute. Oh, oh it's such a tiny thing. And here it is. Everyone at the ready. I like that. And now we have to wait a little bit. I think we actually have to ultra. Oh, what the heck is going on? Okay, the police is firing at that uh, turbo bike from Diablo. <laughs> They're destroying all the roads. All of the roads behind them. Holy moly. And now the auto taxi was destroyed. Blazer turbo bike was destroyed. Wow. Good job. Good job. Wow. That was insane. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, we have to fast forward now. Oh, UFO spotted. Darn it. Oh, those little probes. Okay. Kind of sucks because that's... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this probably. I don't want the lineage cannons. Yeah, I don't, I don't want them using Illyrium. I'll have to remember to sh turn it back on though. That's gonna suck. Um, yeah, let's let's do that first, I suppose. And these guys have these giant. Oh no, the laser guns. Uh, I put laser guns on them. I thought I put lineage on them. Oh well, mm, laser works. And yes, I'm gonna send the Terrangator as well. Uh, well, I suppose I also selected the one with the lineage plasma, but that's okay. So what else do we get? Just probes. Okay. I mean probes. Scouts and probes. That's actually nice. We can easily take care of these guys. Look at the damage. They're, they're gonna get destroyed. Yep. And then you can get the other ones. Just so they don't offload. They're, they're definitely uh, getting ready for something. 
alien scout destroyed by hover bike, and then we can get the probe as well, I suppose, because they can also sometimes offload. Now we're not gonna get it. That's fine. Alright, everyone back. That was interesting. Didn't even use two of the hover bikes there. So, let's uh, fast forward a little bit. We are unhappy with the recent activity of your organization and request compensation to restore normal diplomatic relations. If you do not comply, your craft and engines may be subject to hostile actions. Ugh, 44 for soul mine. I have to pay them. I want that stuff. That's horrible. And nice. That's done. So we're, we're making heads and now we just have to make the arms. Uh, let's do the right arms first. And these guys will stop this and make the left arms. There. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, great. Diablo and Evonet are now hostile. That's yeah, fine. Nutrivent, Psych, Mutant Alliance. Yeah, we must have uh, damaged a lot of stuff. Synth Mesh is also happy with us. Okay, not the best, but oh well. Save here. And what is that probe doing so long? I don't remember it taking that long before, but I guess it does. Now that it's a new day, now we should be looking at the alien dimension. There we go, switching to the alien dimension. Look at this place. There's also special music that plays here. Ouch, this guy's right there. Look at this. So cool. Like that. They're already firing. Alien structure. That's so awesome. I really enjoy this. The sound is, I mean, the music is also weird. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. All right. Um, unfortunately, the <laughs> you don't really have to do anything here. I really hope this thing doesn't get destroyed immediately because, uh, yeah, this thing is right here. Uh, there's nothing really you have to do here. The only thing you have to do is get here and then get back out so we can immediately leave bye <laughs> did we yeah it actually did uh, hit it a couple of times well once oh man i like the alien dimension though very creepy no project now when the probe gets back we'll have a biochemistry project alien artifact that's about to be complete Psych, we are unhappy with the recent activity. Yeah, we don't care. Ah, personal cloaking field. Look at this thing. The personal cloaking field generates a warping effect that bends various waveforms. Effectively, this means that the user is considerably less visible to radar, infrared, and visual sighting. The field is disabled temporarily if the user initiates combat. So, we must analyze the data from our alien dimension probe. Um, we're going to... Do Yeah, yeah, fine. Do that. The alien dimension. Disruptor armor, retaliator. And these guys have nothing yet. We have to do the alien dimension first. Okay, so now things are turning kind of bad here. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad, I suppose. Um Let's make double sure that there's nothing weird going on here. Okay. Let's save this again. We are kind of running a bit low on am um, money now. So I think... A nice little visit to Cult of Sirius is in order. Let me see how much money they have. <laughs> Less than 30,000 now. Oh, come on. Music again? Alright. Uh, we have some more stuff now. Well, lots of people still don't have the pants. 
All of these guys have pants, I believe. Ah! No! Darn it. I think LP5 sent three of as well. There. There. So now everyone has pants. Excellent. So, um, time to put some of this stuff on. There. Look at that. Now, this is basically how we'll be running things as far as armor goes. We'll still keep the Marsic stuff because it allows us to fly. But everything else is as this, like this. Yeah. And look at this. The. The weight is 40, I mean, uh, is 9 and protection is 44 versus weight 1 and protection 75. I mean, this is so good. And now we also have cloaking stuff, which can be put into uh, these little slots. And I think we might actually want to do that. Uh, they're not very heavy. They're 6, so... I mean, it's going to make up for that, uh, for less weight with the, with the thingy. Um with the armor and we have a lot of these and they are pretty expensive which also means that we can sell them I love this music that's still going on from the alien dimension it's so weird and creepy uh, the reason I'm not doing them all at once is because you can see that some of them have a different Wait a second. Ah, um, no. I believe you actually need to have this thing in your hand. I think that's how it goes. I believe this needs to be in the other hand, which means that everyone will be a lot less accurate. Huh. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I want that. That's usually why I never use these. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it then. I want those smoke grenades though, because as you've seen in the past, there's quite a few times when the smoke grenades have actually truly, truly saved us from poopers, from brain suckers, because when the aliens don't spot you, even if you're kind of close, uh, they don't really care. No, we have a lot of, a lot of equipment. Let's see how much those sell for. There's the auto cannons that we don't really use anymore, but I'm gonna keep for now. Uh, heavy launchers, mini launchers, stun grapples. Yeah, stun grapples are good. Mind benders, boomeroids. Entropy launchers, okay. 65 vortex mines. Uh, personal disruption. Okay, so these are even more expensive. So if we were to sell all of these, it's almost 400,000. It is ridiculous. So we're going to sell a few. 20 of them. Entropy pods as well. I'll keep the megapole stuff just in case someone dies and then we don't have the disruptor armor on hand. And, of course, no Illyrium here for us. No missiles either. That kind of sucks. That's what it's going to have to be for now. Okay, I'm going to have to spread out the, uh, the vehicles again. But we're going to do this next time. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.